So. No, it's a hardwood short. I have a very specific reason for wanting to do that. Just go smack a random tree and you should get enough hardwood. Snicker snicker. Oh, yeah, and a backworm. However, if I'm right, and this is something I wanted to test. Um, Okay. Now, back to my, like, 400 IQ play here, because this is just a really good <coughs> idea, which I'm going to expand more on. Okay. So, I made two extra workbenches, and my reasoning for that, and this is the, like, oh, oh, there's a stick. 400 IQ play, so, oh, I can get a warp wedge. So, you have these rocky areas. You can drop items on these. If I drop a workbench here, I can craft fishing material, and I don't have to go use my other workbench. Meaning I've made a semi-ideal... And, like, because you can't move the workbenches once they go clean. Oh, no, you can! Oh, yeah. well, that's what the third one is. You're just gonna carry one with you now, aren't you? No. Oh. There's another beach. This massive area... Because by the dock, and I wanted to point this out, the dock has different fishing spawns. So, I'm a flipping genius. Now, we can craft things by the dock. This was my plan. Because this pier area counts as different spine. This is ocean, but it's also pier. As it's just a man. You Okay, it was wasn't closing off. See? Use some fish. And this is why I wanted to put one by the dock and one on that other beach area. That ain't gonna work. What? That ain't gonna work. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Ah, look, you fish. I think we have one. I think we have one of those. Before. But hey, we got enough miles for using bait. This is like the best way to perpetually... Yeah, seems uh, like using bait around here almost guarantees... No! Bait summons one of the fish population in whatever spawn you're working on. So, unfortunately, by working at this weird hour, we're just going to get whatever. Unless the game just now spits something out. No. Nope. It's all random. And now enough miles. Yeah. It's for fishing and for some bait use. Nice. Nice. And I also wanted to show off before we stop this 
other trick. So bait is formed from clams. Clams have this really cool programming. They're not limited, they're just random. Where if you run up and down the beach. Like and, you just ran past one. Yeah. That's my point. You just run up and down the beach, you get you can get clams. And by having a area by that dock, we can look for those spawns if I ever feel like it. And this is a really long beach to clam hunt because it actually stretches really, really far. Every few minutes you can get a clam, so if you need more bait, you can just circle or probably stop and change games because me and Carson had other things to record, but I did kind of want to break down some basic mechanics I had in it. We kept talking about bait, and we never used it. Yeah, because we were focusing on... Hmm. Now, again, it is random. I'm mean, amazed you can't craft, like, specific... You also just ran past the claim. It's, like, in front of your house. Like I said, just come and go. And you just yeah. look... Clams just come and go at random. You you want to look for yeah, the? I'm, I'm amazed. See, you, I'm amazed that it's like it's clams that are bait, and you can't use any bugs as bait, right? Nope. You would have thought. Oh well, on the topic of. So I guess they like maybe because <laughs> bugs are designed to be sold. If you they didn't want you like using a. Sort of rare bug that attracts a like even rarer fish, so that that would be like a kind of you know positive money game cotton rope trick style thing, but it would be for free. Cause one clam is one bait, mm. so you can. I do a little bit more fishing before we stop. Someone who fish around different parts of the island. Someone who got the max sized inventory. Now I don't remember if this was with speeding up. I think it was. They tried to fill their entire inventory with bait. It took five and a half minutes. Of course. Cause you can't craft multiple of an item. Obviously a tiny, tiny fish. I'd have to look I'd have to look at what fish were missing which I could do and get a more coherent guide of Oh hey, I found Nemo. I already made that joke. Did you Carson? Yes. I made that joke when we yeah, first found the clown fish. Oh, damn it. It's fine. I can just try some different... The fact that pier counts differently than ocean is a little bit stupid in my... Oh! Speaking of finding Nemo, I was looking for that. Surgeon fish. <laughs> Alright. Eh, it just deserves in fashion. I, I think... Oh! A, another dab! I think another name for a surgeon fish was a king. Stop soon so we can actually record some other stuff because this is... Not the. Oh, I never used that. Might go throw some bait. 
maybe Pork will use some bait in the river and then we'll stop. Well, one, I need to get that fossil, and two, let's actually do Cliff River. Like that. I'm subtly getting used to this dress. I'm going to rock this dress and nobody, nobody is going to question that. And then when Bunny Day ends, we trash all these items. And like I said, act like it never happened. All of this is Cliff River and these ponds at the end? of Cliff River are really good for certain very specific fish that are hard to find. That's why I wanted massive Cliff River. But you can still get river fish up here. And on the one hand, I get that. Well, it's mainly because of the time we're at. In some cases, yes, and I really should look at a fish list for dates and times, because right now I'm just kind of looking for stuff at random without fully... Nice. I might toss another... Because I believe we're in the time for this one really, really uncommon um, fish that only spawns in the, like, top of a cliff river, which would be this. And that confused me for the longest time. Because I thought this flat, dead area was pond, but because it flows out, that counts as river. And I had to look that up, just to make sure. And what I basically found was, this area does count as river. A bunch of streamers have helped prove that for me. <laughs> Char! Is that what you were looking for? That's one I was looking for. Aw. I can come back for that egg. Yeah. Char is one I'm pretty sure we needed. That was something I wanted out of... I don't remember if Char is Cliff River specific. But char is something we needed anyway, I'm pretty sure, so that's... Oh, it's a new fish. Oh, I never actually showed this off in the phone, the Critterpedia, because they do this one really cool thing. What? If there's an owl next to it... That means it can only be found at night? No! Oh, oh no, that means you've, uh, you've given it to the museum. Yep. Click on details for one of them to see what it... Uh. Yeah, and they give... Oh, you... actually, they do uh, tell you the time. But only when you've found, found it. it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and then we can go to the fish, so let's... I notice it, like, everything that also has the owl next to it seems to have that dot showing that... We've put them in the museum, but try to find the char see if That's what I'm looking for, person. Cheers, Anna. Char. No! Yeah. But it does have the die. Because it's... It, oh, that would show that it's in your inventory. No! The, the, no, the dot is a new register. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have to go through and undo a lot of that, but this is a really good example of what I was trying... Mm. To make a point about, and I just forgot to show it, there's a convenient marking, I just never opened the app. Because we have Wikipedia for that. Yeah. See? 
<laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that is really good. Still sweeping that dirt. But then again, most villagers are honestly kind of dumb. They're all idiots! Yeah, they are. And then we can take all of recording a small break and actually try to go back to some other games. Because now we're at a point where we can do a shorter recording while we wait on people to move in and I look for some specific fish. Sea bass, snapper, mm. bat, 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 bagworm, Nemo. Can nothing of value. I forgot to check that fossil. <laughs> Damn it! So if we do that, then we snow. Amazingly, in like a day, I went from barely any miles to hitting nearly twelve. Thousand, that is really nice. Let's get that fossil. And I can go around. Try to stop. We're probably going to do a recording after this, but. I mean, that doesn't matter in the sense of this video, because that's entirely separate, unrelated things, but... I know! Okay, yeah. Can't donate, because I didn't... I mean, this is the one... I always forget to do this. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to look up the really specifically stupid fish we're missing, and I might make part of the next recording trying to find some of those. Because I don't remember the exact times, but I didn't want to do fishing. Like, immediately. I wanted to get the island sort of underway. Grab that hat. Hopefully these will sprout up properly. I might end up taking all my items back too. Stop in a minute. And then we can get another short recording. Because she's still moving in. It's nice to have some villager types I really, really like. The game also pointed something out, but I want to double check something. Apparently, when a house gets reserved, you should be able to see... Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So, if you ever place a plot of land, and you're not sure who took it, read who took it. Now, in the sense of inviting villagers to your island, you have that really good, and I'm probably about to stop, but you have, 
Oh, another clown. Hold on. When you invite villagers to your island, it's generally less random, but it is good to see who's taking what house in case you forget or if you were not sure because there's an interesting thing that the Animal Crossing series does. I, I wanted to bring it up before we stop. When you visit other islands, like online, if I went to one of those islands of it, one of the people who was streaming and we had open space and they had a villager moving, that villager might follow me back. <laughs> so you can jack people's villagers? Yes. Oh, you ungrateful asshole. That's always... You, know, yeah. you had one of mine in New Leaf! After they left. I didn't prevent them from moving in. Well, no, it's... You're, it's the same basic rules. It's just updated a little bit where because they're moving and you visit someone's island, you have odds. Mm. I think you can ask them to come with you. And sometimes and, and I the think funny they... thing is, like, the villagers of yours, yep. I got, and I think you also got one of my villagers. That only happened long after they left our island well, towns and you like. It's the same kind of mechanic, but there's some. Okay, we need to stop, stop it. Hold on. Let's... Okay, let's do some extra storage. I forgot to. Damn it! Drug. I'll stop in a minute. And then we can actually record some other things because this was a less important Animal Crossing day. And when I say less important, I just mean we're in the middle of waiting on people to show up. So. Oh, you can like customize and. Actually, I should probably make, the, make that fish bait so I can have that on me and then we can probably be wrapping this up. So. Yeah, I'm just checking for some other random things, seeing if anything. I don't... Wait, yeah, I'll just do a clam. Okay. We'll, we'll loop around and I'll what we call it then. Yeah. My trees are coming in fine, which is great. Because I was slightly worried that my trees were dying. But it looks like they're... They just take like five days. It's a fucking... Hey, take a while here, go Hey, that's me. And actually, um, just because it's four Nook Miles, and I'm pretty sure this money tree will never grow again, there was one for cutting down a tree. You don't even get wood for cutting down money trees. You do, but we exhausted the wood earlier. But Hold on. I might even leave an extra stump. So, I'm probably about to wrap it up. Wait, what the hell? Apple. Ah. Donk. Okay. So, I'm probably about to stop. I actually feel like clearing out the clutter for spacing reasons. All of these items are basically mine, so... And you know, now that I think about it, I don't think the villagers have the items we built for them. No. No, they don't. Since they're 
That just crossed my mind. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's store some stuff and we'll be wrapping it up in a minute. That just crossed my mind! I even made them an Apple TV! And my god! Like, Apple products don't come cheap! Isn't that an Apple TV also that item that was memed for, like, when New Leaf came out, there was that direct segment of, like, Reggie's village in New Leaf, and he said something about the TV being an Apple, and the internet just latched onto that as a meme for some fucking reason. Don't press the internet. Okay. So, we're probably about to. We're about to call it, man. Oh, yeah, that still works as. Do I have a lot of clothes? Do you have that cheerleading look? <laughs> oh, yeah, and then the takeoff is. <laughs> I think I just realized why the dresses bother me. Because the, clo the sleeveless clothes in Animal Crossing always bothered me. I'm probably about to put that other dress back on, but you can also take that. I love his just, like, the posing. It's, that's amazingly funny to me, and then you can sort. It's so, like, you know, I, the, oh, wait, that's what I was looking for. You can spin. Oh, no! Before we stop, and I'm kind of patting this out, I talked about the backpack, and you can see I have it on. And actually, that doesn't look that awful as an accessory. Neither does this hat, a Carson's Queen of England comparison is to, has stuck out in my mind for like three days. Ah, <laughs> oh, my shit eating freaking grin here. I, I, I know, I'm rocking that dress. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm about to quit that. Let's walk out. So, on. Then I'm probably about to call it here, and me and Carson can go do some other recording things, because I don't want to pat this out too much. This is... A shorter recording because not much is going on as the villagers move in. Final point, you need three villagers to move in before you can work on the big event I'm trying to build to. The reason not a lot was happening, I didn't have enough villagers moved in. But with that said, I'm going to try to make these outros a little bit less ridiculous. This has been April 7th in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hope you all enjoyed the April 7th videos. See you all next time. Here comes the insight. It's time for the question of the day. My overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway... How many of you got confused by what constitutes as a cliff river? Because I noticed a lot of people get a little bit mixed up when it comes to figuring that out. A common misconception with cliff river is it has to be the highest cliff, but any river on any level of cliff counts as cliff river. So, if you stacked basically three levels of river, the bottom ground level is regular river, the level over it is cliff river, and the level over that is also cliff river. Overall, a lot of people seem confused by this weird rule, but in essence, as long as the water is technically a flowing body of water, it counts as a river, so if it's a flowing body of water on a cliff, that is a cliff river, whereas a pond 
is a self-contained bit of water that does not flow. So you can create a pond on a cliff, but that will not be Cliff River unless it flows outwards. So if you're trying to create a pond and you want the pond to flow outwards, that will always count as river. And I will give people that is a little bit weird. You have to seal it off completely to be a pond is my point. I know I'm rambling, but I really did find this whole thing interesting and a bit bizarre. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time, so good night, everybody.